Welcome to the Common Man Football Show. My name is James Coburn, and today's episode, we're talking about the 2018 NFL Draft Class, specifically the top five wide receivers based on analytics. And in this video, we're going to be looking at all the wide receivers that tested the best in terms of their production data, their athleticism data, and those sort of combinations of all those things together in terms of what their potential is at the next level based on data. Uh, I've done videos in the past uh, looking at top five wide receivers, top five sleepers, and top five overrated guys. What you need to know about those videos in the past is that those videos were made all the way back in May last year. All those videos were essentially videos to preview the season coming up. Uh, so again, this video should serve as the final video. Like this is the final say. Like this is the legit, this is it, if you will. So uh, I know there's a lot of people that might be like, well, you made a top five video already. But again, that was a video previewing the season upcoming, um, not a video to that's actually the final video. So again, uh, just think of it like that. But bottom line is, if you're new to the channel and you're new to the work that I do, so if you're completely new to what I do, all terms and definitions will be in the description. So if you're not familiar with what production data is or athleticism data, all that stuff will be in the description with a definition to kind of give you an idea of what I'm talking about. And with that out of the way, let's get to the top five wide receivers in this draft class based on analytics. At number five, we have Richie James, wide receiver out of Middle Tennessee State. Uh, when you look at his uh, production data, he had a 90.18 uh, market share production score, which pretty much hits all the thresholds you're looking for in terms of five-time All-Pro potential, three-time All-Pro potential, three-time Pro Bowl potential, and long-term starter potential. On top of that, when you look at the averages at the position, so the average All-Pro score, the average Pro Bowl score, and the average starter score, doesn't quite hit above the All-Pro average, but does hit above the Pro Bowl average, and is also above the starting average in terms of Richie James's production. So Richie James, based on his production data, very much profiles as a Pro Bowl to all pro potential wide receiver just based on his production alone. Then, of course, when you get to his athleticism traits, uh, he had a 37.26 explosive lower body strength score, a 46.55 speed score, and a 59.87 flexibility score. Uh, based on my data since the 1999 NFL draft class when it comes to athleticism data, wide receivers only need to have one 54 or higher athleticism trait to be considered to be an all-pro to Pro Bowl potential wide receiver. And Richie James has flexibility testing. So in many ways, Richie James has all-pro slash Pro Bowl potential production with all with a all-pro slash Pro Bowl potential athleticism trait, which is all you need to have that potential to become that type of player. Uh, bottom line is, Richie James is a guy that I think will be available in day three in this particular draft class, and he would be an absolute steal. Um, I'm not even getting into the film stuff, but just based on data, he hits all the boxes you're looking for in terms of a high quality wide receiver at the next level. It's just a matter of a team drafting him and developing him and giving him an opportunity to start. And I think good things will happen if you do that with Richie James. Which brings us to the number four wide receiver in this draft class, Michael Gallup, wide receiver out of Colorado State. When you look at his production data, uh, he had a 92.29 uh, passing yardage market share production score, which hits the five-time All-Pro, three-time All-Pro, three-time Pro Bowl, and long-term starting thresholds. Uh, then, of course, you look at the averages at the position, the average All-Pro score, average Pro Bowl score, and average starter score. Hits above the average All-Pro score uh, by a good amount, which is all you really need. So, again, in many ways, Michael Gallup has All-Pro potential based on his production data. Then when you get to his athleticism traits, he has a 71.17 explosive lower body strength score, 67.14 speed score, and 56.36 flexibility score. And he pretty much hits, again, above the average, or pretty much has three all pro slash pro bowl potential athleticism traits, which is all you really need. All you really need is one, um, and he has three. So based on his testing, he has all pro to pro bowl potential production with all pro slash pro bowl potential athleticism traits which is why he's the number four wide receiver on this list when it comes to data. Which brings us to number three on this list, which is Cortland Sutton, wide receiver out of SMU. Uh, looking at his production data, he had a 90.69 uh, passing yardage market share production score, which hits the five-time All-Pro, three-time All-Pro, three-time Pro Bowl, and long-term starting threshold. Uh, you look at his average, uh, the, you know, the averages in terms of his production data, pretty much hits within range of the All-Pro potential and Pro Bowl potential area as well. And then when you get to his athleticism testing, uh, had 83.08 explosive lower body strength score, 
uh, 70.46 speed score and 97.44 flexibility score. So a tremendous athlete, especially when it comes to flexibility testing. I've done videos in the past showing that he uh, is very similar to Alshon Jeffrey in terms of his production and athleticism traits. And I think that's the ultimate upside for Cortland Sutton is to become that type of player. If he doesn't become that type of player, I mean, he doesn't become it. But the bottom line is, is he has all the traits on paper of Alshon Jeffrey and is why he kind of gets those comps in this particular draft class. A lot of people are giving those Alshon Jeffrey comps out. And I think, again, based on data, they line up very similarly uh, based on paper. Uh, then we get to number two in this list, which is kind of a surprise, but it's Jordan Lastly, uh, wide receiver out of UCLA. Now, when you get to his production data, he had a 93.32 passing yards market share production score, which pretty much hits all the thresholds you're looking for when it comes to that particular uh, you know, production data. And then, of course, you get to 93.32 compared to the averages. He's above the all-pro average, above the Pro Bowl average, and above the starting average. And then we get to his athleticism testing. Uh, he had a 38.91 explosive lower body strength score, a 65.58 speed score, and a 40.10 flexibility score. In many ways, again, you only need one 54 or higher athleticism trait in order to be considered for all pro to pro bowl potential. And lastly, has one. So, uh, you know, the only issue that I have with lastly is that the reason why his market share production is so high is because he missed some games. He only played nine games at UCLA last year. And when you adjust for those nine games, you put up a really, really good market share production score. Based on film, there's lots of question marks uh, with him, obviously. And there's a lot of people that kind of think he's a little bit overrated by certain people because of his data. I mean, in my own personal rankings, I don't have him as a, as a top five wide receiver in this draft class in terms of my personal rankings. But based on the data, he's number two overall. So again, you have to look at... Jordan Lastly as a guy where there's some suspect here. Again, data is not a perfect process. Analytics is not perfect. So you're always going to have some albatross type players that pop up. And I consider him to be one of those guys. Now, if he becomes a great player and all that other kind of stuff, then hey, I was wrong about my feelings about him versus what the facts said about him on paper. But bottom line is the reason he's number two in this list is because he put up very, very good production when you adjust for the games that he missed. And on top of that, put up at least one athleticism trait necessary for all pro to pro bowl potential. Which brings us to the number one wide receiver in this draft class based on analytics. And that is, of course, DJ Moore, wide receiver out of Maryland. Uh, looking at his production data, had a 99.27 passing yardage mark share production score. Hits all the thresholds you're looking for, obviously, when you put up a 99 plus score. Uh, then, of course, you look at the average all pro score, average pro bowl score, average starter score. Hits all the thresholds you're looking there. And then you get to his athleticism testing, where he had a 97.12 explosive or body strength score, 92.65 speed score, and a 91.74 flexibility score. Whew. It's a lot to say, but when you have a wide receiver that hits 90 plus percentile in production, 90 plus percentile in explosion, speed, and flexibility. Uh, you look at the strength of schedule that he played as well. Uh, again, one of the toughest strength of schedules in the Big Ten. He's just a top wide receiver in this class, man, when it comes to data. Now, again, there's going to be some people that disagree. There's going to be some people that are going to have one wide receiver over another wide receiver. And there's, there's going to be lots of debate. I mean, that's the fun thing about the draft and everything else like that. There's just lots of debate. But based on data, based on the analytics, based on the parameters that I'm talking about here, DJ Moore is the top wide receiver in this class based on data. Uh, so if do with that as you will, personally, I think he's a fantastic wide receiver on film, has the athleticism traits that you're looking for, one of the youngest wide receivers in this draft class as well, and I just think the potential sky high with a guy like him. So uh, we'll see what happens with him in the draft in terms of where he gets drafted, but he's definitely a guy that has a lot of potential in this class based on data. And of course, uh, my name is James Coburn. You can find my other work at draftcoburn.wordpress.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Geometrics. And if you like this content and you want more content like this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, share this video as well with anybody that you know. Hit that notification button so that you're always reminded another video of mine drops. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. And just so you don't forget, the 2018 NFL Draft Guide uh, is available now. So I'm leaving a link in the description. Uh, in that guide, you will have player profiles on quarterbacks, wide receivers, running backs, tight ends, offensive linemen, defensive linemen, uh, corner, you know, safeties, 
linebackers, etc. cetera. Uh, 350 plus prospects are in this guide, giving you all the data I just talked about today. So if there was wide receivers on this list that you did not hear, guys like Calvin Ridley, guys like James Washington, all their data is in that guide. So please go out and purchase that guide today. Again, link is in the description. And to finally get to the end, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.